Hey everyone, I wanted to talk about the five ways to find apartments with Valley Trash Service to bid. Um, so it's kind of easy walking into an apartment complex and you don't know where you're going to get. Either a company has service, they don't have service. If they don't have service, it's more of an educational process on you telling them how you can help them you know, with their property and gain additional revenue. If you find an apartment that already has a service provider, um, that is a great lead to go after because they already are educated and the apartment complex residents are educated on how to you know, use your service accordingly. So if you come across one that is at the towards the end of a contract and doesn't like their current service provider and wants to change, that's a great spot to be in. Um, so exactly how do you find those? You know, there's the normal, hey, walk in and talk to them, which um, is still one of the best ways to do it. You can cold call. Um, but you can do some pre-research online. I'm going to talk about the five ways that you can do that um, today or mostly online. The first one is Yelp. So uh, most people know what Yelp is. It's essentially an online direct directory of local businesses like yours, like mine, like an apartment complex, whatever it might be. Um, so going to Yelp, you can actually in their search function, if you can type in, uh, you know, trash or valet trash or waste services or things that are, you know, specific keywords or um, phrases that would meet you know, the business uh, that would show the business that has it. Um, because sometimes people will leave comments like, hey, you know, this service is great. Hey, I don't like the service, whatever it might be. If they comment on it, uh, it will show up within the search. And then you'll know that that apartment complex that that person is commenting on has the service. So then that way you can start to make notes of it uh, going forward for your, um, you know, when you start to reach out and then actually walk into a complex. Um, this also varies per location in the country, right? If you're in Florida, Texas, Arizona, California, you know, the, where the weather is nicer majority of the times of the year, um, there are more companies that already have service. So you might already know uh, where if you're in a state that, uh, you know, maybe you're in Michigan and there's just not a lot because the weather just gets so bad at times during, um, you know, the winter that there really isn't, they don't have a service provider up there yet, or less properties have the service provider because they're still, you know, not as educated about how it can bring additional revenue to their, their complexes. So you want to get acquainted with your competition uh, and how you can differentiate yourself and provide better service. So if you walk into a, a complex that you see that Yelp has someone currently, you know, right away, if someone is, is saying that the service is bad for these reasons, you already know that those could be a hot button reason for going in and speaking with the manager and saying, this is how I can rectify that situation. You know, Hey, you know, dirty hallways, I can power wash, I can power wash this for you too. Or I know the connection that we can bring on to, to do that, whatever it might be. Um, you know, find new communities and businesses, introduce your company and services. Um, so it's a great way once again, to kind of find complexes that you normally wouldn't, or would be off the beaten path. Cause a lot of times the areas that we drive or that we visit, um, are the ones that we're most familiar with. So you have to start kind of reaching out out of your bounds to find those complexes that would, would really fit your criteria and might already have the service through Yelp. Google listings. So if you find competing businesses, you know, searching in your area um, for Valley Trash Service Providers, you know, you, using your service keywords or what you think is relevant for your website to see, you know, where they list. Um, and then you can kind of, uh, read the reviews that they have through Google or through Facebook or whatever grouping that they use, um, which is a good way, you know, granted those people might not necessarily be ready to move on from them, but at, at, at any point, you never know what por portion of the sales cycle someone's going to be in, right? Uh, just because someone left a good review, you know, a year ago doesn't mean that they've either moved on to a different company or want to move on to a different company, or at the end of the day, price really does matter. And if you can offer a equivalent or better service for the same price or a better price, um, sometimes they're willing to, to jump on that, especially if there's been changeover in management or ownership or whatever it might be, right? Uh, so you just never know the situation um, in your sales cycle. And that's why it's always great to reach out after your initial uh, point of contact. Um, find clients. So once again, read user reviews, you know, you find the opportunities uh, to fill in where, where others are, are missing. Um, even if you come across a complex that already has somebody and they love that person, you know, that's great. Uh, at the same time, you can still ask them, you know, you have the service here. Do you have any other properties that might be interested in the service that they just haven't expanded to yet? Right. So there's other ways that you can kind of, um, you know, use those resources to uh, 
uh, you know, get a meeting or just talk to them about other properties that might fall, uh, you know, fall under that same criteria. Social media obviously is a, you know, great way through, um, you know, like the other pages that are used once again, um, the Valley trash pages, you know, com you know, comments to your benefit, right? Negative comments, a new client acquisition, this kind of comes back into researching your competitors in the area or some of the larger players in the area that, you know, might be nationally, but have local areas. Um, and the positive comments to see how you can improve your business, right? Because if you're seeing a competitor saying, uh, this is what that competitor does great, well, that's great. That's something that I could look to incorporate. Um, but through social media, you can definitely search within those, you know, your uh, Facebook, Instagram, all those type of things uh, for the apartment complexes in your area. Or if you go to an apartment complex website, you can then also, you know, click through. Usually they have a social media page from their website and you can kind of click over to see if there's additional things uh, that would stand out to you that they have the service. Uh, because sometimes not all properties list it as an amenity. Uh, some just um, use it and they love the service. Uh, and some will actually list it as an amenity on their page. But sometimes a lot won't list it as an actual amenity, even though their salesperson talks about it. Uh, you know, when someone comes in to rent a new apartment complex, uh, it's also a quick way to connect with the community. If you wanted to go that, that route, you know, to advertise, uh, or make an announcement of your business, you know, the, the platform is open and it responds quickly. Um, and you can engage quickly through social media, uh, with some of the, with some of the, you know, relationships you can build with, uh, communities or investment clubs or things like that, that might be a good fit for number four, apartment finder. So apartment finder is a pretty reliable source for local apartments. This kind of falls into the same of apartment finders, are like one of the bigger ones, right? Uh, you know, them and, um, for rent and, uh, you know, just those really gigantic ones that kind of, you can go by, um, price criteria and it will sort down, you know, those apartment complexes on that end. And once again, look at their amenity list because it'll allow you to find new opportunities, new opportunities while you can still filter and narrow your search down, um, because a lot of times the ones that are more expensive, so if you search by, you know, price point, uh, the ones that are more expensive, majority of the times will have uh, Valley Trash as a resource or as a, an additional add-on. Um, sometimes they won't, but they will then fall into that criteria of like, hey, they might be new to education, but they're, you know, they have the money to want to expand and have this brought on. Um, whereas if you use this, you might actually find listed as a resource or an amenity on that apartment complex is uh, a valet trash service. Um, and then you can, you know, take down that information and go from there. Number five, one-on-one -on -one meetings. So it's all about connecting on a human level, right? People buy from people that they like or that remind them somewhat of themselves, right? So it's important to create long lasting relationships, um, and be where the clients are, right? So whether this might be community meetings or events or clubs, chamber of commerce, um, somewhat in the, uh, local, you can look a little bit into the local, um, multifamily, uh, association, but at the same time, sometimes those aren't worth the amount of money upfront that you pay to kind of have those meetings and startups. Uh, I would say I would still look at them. Uh, but it's something that once you become a little bit more established, you can go, uh, you know, and join those because really you can cover more ground working, you know, day by day going into apartment complexes than um, using some of those meetings because you kind of have to position yourself and kind of grow through the ranks there. Uh, and then make a great first impression, you know, represent your identity and brand and skip the sales pitch. Sometimes up front, you can still say what you do or if they already are educated on your service, um, they know what to do or what you do. Um but otherwise, you know, making those one-on-one, -on -one, you know, connections. And this can also be done too through different platforms, right? Uh, for instance, uh, like LinkedIn, which once again kind of falls a little bit maybe under social media, but uh, LinkedIn is on more on the business end. You can easily go in and, you know, put in the search criteria for apartment manager or property manager or things like that. And it will actually pre-populate a whole lot of those um properties that you might have never heard of. And then you can kind of research from there. The same with your competition, right? Um, because they might have connections on there of properties that follow them or whatever that might be that kind of relates to you that, hey, there's, you know, potential uh, connection here that I can go in and see if they have a contract already or did have a contract uh, or whatever that might be. 
Um, the same thing too with if you find investment clubs or uh, through um, online resources like meetup.com. You know, multifamily, you can search for multifamily investment clubs. And while those are smaller complexes or people that, you know, might own multiple complexes, but very small, like, hey, I own 10, 16 unit complexes, right, that are kind of spread out a little bit. It's something that you might think of as to get your foot in the door, um, you know, with, hey, I can service all of those still in one night, or I can have one valet service all those in one night. And that, that essentially equals the same as a 160 unit apartment complex, right? So there's just ways that you need to think inside the box when you're looking at apartments and apartment complexes. And also when you look for, you know, outside private, smaller investment groups. Um, but really that sweet spot is finding a company that's three to eight, you know, that manages three to eight properties uh, that doesn't have the service yet because you can easily get in with one property uh, and when you're communicating with them and the service uh, up front, you can easily say, you know, we're going to be a great partnership. We can expand and grow with you. Um, and usually they will bring you on to the other properties once that first property does well, because they can see the impact of the job that you're doing and the additional revenue that they're coming in with. So really final takeaways, uh, new leads can be found in multiple places uh, that are, you know, affiliated with someone already having the service that was just kind of more of a warm lead, right? Because if they have the service, they might be more willing to switch over to you. Um, understand what the customers and community are saying, right? So if you pre find out that a complex has it, um, you know, you search on apartment finder and you find that it's listed as an amenity on this one apartment complex. Now you know that you can go to their social media page um, and you can, or their Yelp page, and you can see if there are negative comments or positive comments uh, and what those might be. And then you can use that, you know, within your, um, you know, just conversation with the property manager when you meet with them. That way you're a little bit more versed on how you can assist them uh, and encourage engagement, you know, with your brand. So this is whether you yourself are reaching out on things like LinkedIn to other apartment managers or, you know, reaching out um, through social media channels, uh, you know, Facebook uh, to investment groups, whatever it might be, uh, you know, you're always presenting yourself uh, as a knowledgeable, you know, experience, um, and just right on brand for what you're looking to do with your valet trash business. So thanks for hanging out with me and going through a couple of these, uh, ways that you can find, um, apartment complexes that already have valet trash service, and then how you can kind of reverse engineer some stuff and do some uh, digging through social media to find out, you know, the positives and negatives, and then how you can approach that apartment complex manager going forward. Have a great one. Bye.